Hey John with Off Grid Home Setting. I wanted to share with you uh, this year, we've been out here for about a year and a half, um, but this winter I ended up uh, installing a blue flame heater and then putting a fan, a small fan on top of it that runs off of 110 um, and that keeps our trailer from freezing uh, without using a lot of electricity. If I turn the fan off it'll still heat the area up uh, but the fan makes it almost like a uh, central heat and air for your house. So let me show you how I got it all set up. So anyway, here's your blue flame heater. Uh, any, this is a 300, um, 300 uh, square foot, so I think it's approximately nine or 10,000 BTU. And what I did is I had a um, copper line uh, installed from over there and over there means uh, we've got the heating unit down here that was disconnected and I took the line that was going into the heating unit because there's no floor vents anymore we, we redid all the floors took all the floor vents out so we couldn't use the heating system that uses a lot of electricity and a lot of a lot of propane and uh, this one here does not it's very efficient so anyway uh, disconnected that disconnected the line uh, going to and basically just took we took uh, where that line was actually tying into the trailer underneath and went directly from there to here put a ball valve in had my heating air guy come out check it all make sure it all was good got a piece of uh, I think four inch uh, black pipe goes directly into the unit and what we can do is on the side on the top here is just simply turn this down at night. See right there, you just can turn it down to about as low as you can go before it looks like it's going to flame out. So pretty much like right about there. And that keeps it no less than even on a on a well, I wouldn't say on a day with, that it's down to zero or anything like that, but um, when it got down to, and like right now today, it's 25 degrees outside and it's 65 in here. And uh, so just putting this instead of it at low, and just keep it at about, you know, at the low, at the low mark on the side here, there's a low and a high. So at night, we just turn it down about as low as it can go and it keeps it from getting below about 55 degrees on the trailer. Um, we'll go over here and open up the kitchen cabinets and stuff. We'll open the kitchen cabinet over there. We'll open up the shower door, uh, the cabinet there underneath the sink. And that keeps, that basically keeps everything from freezing. So, um, and you're probably wondering you know, how much uh, propane does this thing use if we're using it to heat the trailer for right now. Well, from my best calculation that I've come up with is we've got a 500 gallon tank outside. Okay, we're using about 4% um, propane per month um, from what I can see, and that's including cooking, using it for uh, fuel over here, and um, you know, from time to time running the generator. But the generator in the winter doesn't like to run on propane very well. So, um, I'm basically using the gas in the generator over the winter. So this little addition here has been uh, invaluable into making the comfort in the trailer uh, much better. Now the challenge, only challenge with using propane, especially a ventless, is this. You get condensation pretty bad. The colder it is outside, the more condensation that you get. One of the um, ways around that is by putting either foam on the outside. I think we've got half inch foam with the uh, metal um, radiant barrier stuff on it. And then these were sweating pretty bad. So we did foam on the outside, rubber tape, rubber uh, pipe tape on the metal on the framing itself 
and then uh, we used metal tape to tape the plastic in place. And as you can see, no condensation. So, but the drawback is you can't open it. Um, and you'll also notice that I put little, um, you can see right there. I can't even really see. There is. Right on the tip here, you might see a little bit of condensation. So when it gets really, really, really cold out there, you will have some condensation around here, but if you do not cover up the metal with some sort of uh, insulation on the inside, uh, every place that the metal touches the plastic will condense and it'll be like a uh, little rainforest in here. Now these end windows, these things uh, will get water and stuff coming up in the trough and you just have to keep that kind of clean. Um, we didn't decided not to uh, put any of the uh, plastic around it because we're probably just, just going to remove these windows because they're so inefficient. But anyway. Uh, hope that helps you with your staying warm in your trailer if you're going to be doing full-time RVing. And uh, John with Off Grid Homesteading. Talk to you later.